Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel, and in today's video, I'll share how I keep my food storage containers from getting totally out of control. So if there's one kitchen drawer or cabinet that is sure to be out of control messy, it is where you keep your Tupperware or your food storage containers. It's just impossible to get everything into that space without it looking like a giant mess, right? Wrong. Now, I'm not one of those organizing geniuses who can take everything out of a closet and magically get rid of a bunch of stuff and then transform it into something out of Real Simple Magazine, but I do know the one principle that you must embrace in order to keep order in your Tupperware drawer, and that is standardization. So what does that mean? It means that you have to choose a standard container for each size of container that you want, and you cannot deviate. If you are like me, this will be a little challenging. I have a bunch of different storage containers which all have different shapes and sizes and volumes. Are you telling me that I need to throw these out unless they conform to one of my standard containers? Yes, I am. Well, that's a huge waste. I can't just throw those away. Yes. You can. If that's giving you heartburn, you can use them for organizing or recycle them. Either way, they cannot be in your main Tupperware drawer. You need to have a strong commitment to standardizing or else this is never gonna work. So let me point out something for all of you cheapos out there, like me. Food storage containers are cheap, really cheap. You can throw out everything you own and run out and buy yourself an entirely new set of containers for well under $25. I'm serious. If you wanna tame this mess, you're gonna have to embrace standardization. Why? because you are wasting space and time with your diversity of containers. Different containers do not fit well into each other, so they all need to be stored separately, and that takes up a lot more space. You need each container to fit well into other like containers in order to use your space efficiently. Also, newsflash. This doesn't just mean that they are taking up less space in your cupboard. It also means that you can make the most efficient use of your refrigerator space as well. Here's an example. In the same space that I put one giant glass storage container, I can stack all of these storage containers. I am always in need of refrigerator space, so this is an important consideration for me. And lastly, if you standardize containers, that also means that you are standardizing tops, which is a huge time saver. You do not have to waste time trying to find exactly the right top for your container if all of your containers of that size are exactly the same. So let me show you what sizes and brands that I use. I have a large and medium sized container that's from the Ziploc line. I also use two mid-sized containers. One's a store brand and it fits nicely on top of the, the mid-sized Ziploc container. And the other is slightly smaller and is from a line of deli meat that I used to buy. Then I have two sizes of screw top containers for liquids. Just a note that I don't always follow, square containers use space more efficiently than ones with rounded corners. Okay, so I will admit that after my kitchen renovation, I have a really nice deep drawer with vertical dividers to put these in. But you don't need a drawer like this to tame the mess as long as you are serious about standardizing. Mine fit into the drawer like this, but you could put them in a cabinet as well. I would just create a container for tops that you could slide in and out. So maybe it goes without saying, but you cannot buy containers that don't fit into your scheme, and you cannot add random containers that you have been given. I put these in a bin that I use for organizing, or I recycle them immediately. If you are not a slave to standard, standardization, this will inevitably get out of control again. So let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated, and thanks for watching.